What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Manu. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we sailed around the Great Sea and got all the treasure shards from the reefs. And in this episode, well, we're going to do a few side quests here on Windfall Island. Now, I'm kind of embarrassed about this, guys, but we're not actually quite done with the auction house just yet. I thought we were, but I double-checked on which treasure charts we have and have not gotten yet. And to my surprise, there is actually a treasure chart that we are missing that you get from the auction house. So apparently, there's two of them here and I only got one of them. So, I apologize about that. That is totally on my end. I completely forgot about it. What can I say? So, we're going to rectify that situation. Let's see what we got going on tonight though. Maybe we'll get lucky because there should only be like two things left. And hey, would you look at that. There we go. We got the treasure chart. Now, of course, you guys know how the auction house works, so I'll just cut until we win ourselves this fabulous prize. And we finally won the auction. This one, the villagers actually upbitted me a lot on this one. I don't know what was going on tonight, but they did not want me to have this treasure chart. I had to pay 133 rupees for this thing, but I guess all things considered, it wasn't really a bad price, but... I probably could have gotten that for cheaper if I really wanted to. Alright, so now that we got this, we are officially done with the auction house. I promise this time we've gotten everything important from it. So, let's get out of here. We've got uh, more things to do here on Windfall Island. In fact, I want to go and visit Maggie's father. Um, we've been collecting skull necklaces on our adventures and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure we finally have enough skull necklaces to go and talk to Maggie's father. And, you know, trade them for something we need for 100% completion. We have a few, like, little tiny side quests like this that we can finish here on Windfall. So we might as well get them out of the way now. But I actually want to double check because I'm not sure how many skull necklaces we have. Oh, would you look at that? We have exactly 20. That is perfect. Hello, sir. You there. Halt. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of here before you could say BOO! But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met before someplace? Yes, yes we have. You were under the tree and tried to stalk me as a child, but whatever. What do you think of these? Eh? This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. Yeah, and from the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy. Filthy rich. All right, boy. I'll give you this as a tip. Now, I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. And for that, he gives us a treasure chart. Cool. Thank you very much. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now, look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, creepy old rich dude. I will definitely take that into consideration while I'm trying to save the freaking world for you. Gosh dang it. Alright, so, um, there's two more things that I want to do here on Windfall before we set sail and do a much larger side quest. So, first things first, let's go and talk to the teacher, Miss Maria, again. But I think it has to be daytime for this, so... Let me just quickly play the Song of Passing. I'm not actually sure if it needs to be daytime, but I assume that it does. Because, like, what kind of teacher hangs out in her classroom all day anyways? And besides, I actually need to be daytime to buy something from Zunari's shop before we leave. Because, yes, we are going to take on the very long and tedious trade side quest today. That'll be exciting. Anyways, um, let's pull out our remaining joy pendants and show Miss Marie. And, uh, see what happens. I think she'll be happy again. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants? Yes, yes we did. How many? We brought 28. Here you go. My goodness, when I put these together with the ones you already brought me, they add to a whopping 49. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so joyful to receive so many mountains of these beautiful pendants. I'm quite simply brimming with joy, my dear. To thank you, I have to give you my most precious of precious belongings. I shall give you this. Now, close your eyes, dear. This item is so rare, there are sparse few others like it anywhere in the world. 
And with that, she gives us a treasure shot. Now, admittedly, we could have done this after we gave her the first 20. I just kind of forgot about it. What do you think? Does it fill you with joy? I found it a long time ago in that cabana that now belongs to you. My, but why the long face? I understand, my dear, I really do. You're just welling up with joy at having done such a good deed, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. Sure. You mustn't forget this feeling. You hear? Not ever. Not for any reason. Okay, well... Thanks anyways, Miss Marie. I, I appreciate your enthusiasm and stuff like that. But, we've got more important things to do, so... Let's head over to Zanari's shop. I actually need to buy one of his town flowers to sort of start this trading side quest. And speaking of which, there are two different ways you can complete this side quest. The efficient way, or the way where you, you know, get every trade item. Now, getting every trade item is not necessary for 100% completion, because all you do is fill out Zanari's shop. It's, you don't even get anything from it, like it's completely pointless. So, I'm just going to do it the efficient way, you'll save money that way, and it'll just go by quicker. You still have to make like 10 trades though, so it does take quite a while, but... In the interest of time, since we've already been to all of the islands with the traveling merchants on them, I will just cut until we get to the first one, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, so here we are on Great Fish Isle. Uh, the first traveling merchant I want to talk to is actually right here, so let's pull out our town. Oh, you know what? They put these in the delivery bag for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but eh, whatever. So, let's talk to him. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island. But I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with the most mystic of rare items, the fabled shop guru statue. But it seems as though I am off my mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours, Gives me the sneaking suspicion that I might have some rare treasures hidden in the depths. Well, uh, you ever see a dead body? If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all. This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Alright, well that sounds like a pretty good deal, so what do you think of this? Huh? That's... a town flower, is it not? Yeah, man, it's one of the best. In that case, would you be interested in trading for this sea flower? Uh, sure, you know, I'll take that trade. Most worthy, then my fee will be... Well, I suppose 20 rupees will do. Alright, fine, it's a deal. Yeah, we do gotta shell out some rupees to finish this quest. It's kind of annoying, but, yeah, whatever. So, now that I've done that, we got ourselves a sea flower. Isn't that just dandy? So, by trading your goods for my goods, we formed the Merchant's Oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me, so it'll likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Thanks again. No problem, buddy. Now, these traveling merchants are kind of dumb because we can actually take this sea flower that we just got and trade it back to him for something entirely different. So, let's see what he's gonna give us this time. Uh, ooh, an exotic flower. So, yeah, we totally want that. Let's see. His fee is going to be... Uh, 25 rupees. He's giving us a deal, apparently. Sure. We'll take that, then. So, yeah, every time you trade with one of these merchants, you have to go through, like, this entire ordeal of, like, figuring out what the fee is, seeing what the item is, and then, like, the speech at the end, where he basically tells you that you can now buy these items back at Windfall. It's kind of annoying, but... And eh, whatever. We're done here, so we're gonna go to the next traveling merchant. And, well, I guess I will just meet you guys over there. Alright, so, uh, here we are on Bomb Island. This is the next merchant that we want to talk to. He's just wandering around on the island himself. He's pretty easy to find, so let's show him this exotic flower. Oh, um, whoops. Yeah, we actually need to talk to him first, so hang on. I think they all have different stories, too. Hey, have we met before somewhere? Aren't you? Nah, couldn't be. Me? I am but a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. My dream has always been to someday open my own shop, but plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started. 
Time certainly laughs at us all, huh? And still, day in and day out, rain or shine, I spend my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me, that delivery bag of yours looks like it might have some rare treasures in it. If you happen to have something of quality that one could put on sale in a shop, would you consider trading it? I have many fine products to trade. If you have something you'd like to trade, could you show it to me, please? Alright, buddy. I think I got something you might like. How about this exotic flower, huh? What do you think of that? I got it all the way from the other side of the Great Sea. And you're gonna trade me a sickle moon flag? You know what? I will take that. How much you want for it? 40 rupees. Man, these just get more and more expensive as we go along. But, eh, whatever. I kind of expected this. That's why we got all those treasures in the uh, last episode. So there we go. Now we have this back at the shop at Windfall. Again, these aren't really used for anything. You could use them to decorate Windfall, but that's honestly about it. So, just like before, let's show them the Sokka Moon flag and uh, see if we'll trade us something else for it. Let's see. It's a Fountain Idol this time. Cool. Alright. Well, I definitely want that. And let's see what the fee is going to be. Yours has a little blemish there. You're the one who just gave this to us, and now you're going to charge us for the damage you caused? Thanks a lot, bud. Whatever. And now we got the Fountain Idol. Cool. That's basically all the trades we have to do here on Bomb Island. Um, the rest of the trades are pretty much going to take place on Mother and Child Isle and Great Fish Isle. So, uh, now that we're done here... Let's make our way towards the next traveling merchant, which is actually on Mother and Child Isle. So, I will see you guys over there. Okay, so here we are on Mother and Child Isle. We've actually seen this traveling merchant a few times before. So, it's about time we go and talk to him. What's your story, bud? I'm what's called a traveling merchant. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts. New and old, strange and unsettling. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here, so I sailed my tiny raft all the way from far, far away. But the high rock walls on the main island block my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much farther. What a disagreeable turn of events. Aw oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home to some rare and unique items. Well, perhaps you might be in luck. If you have any curious that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Yeah, I'll think about it. Someday I'm going to open myself a shop, a huge shop. No, a mega superstore. I'm trying to find goods to sell, so can you show me what you've got on you? Alright, what do you think of uh, this thing? I actually forgot what it was called. An idol of some sort, I think, right? Found an idol, yeah, that's, it. that's exactly what it was. How you got an eye for things, Goron. Big sale flag, you know what? I'll take it. Alright, how much is this going to cost me? 35 rupees, not bad at all. I'll take that. It's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. Cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Traveling Merchant. By the way, these are Gorons. I mean, they don't really, like, tell you that, but that's what they are. They're, like, the only remaining Gorons left from, you know, the old Hyrule that got flooded. It's kind of cool that they do make an appearance in uh, Wind Waker, but they don't really have that big of a role. So, we're pretty much done here for now. Uh, we're going to head back to Great Fish Isle, so I will see you guys over there. Alright, so we made it back to Great Fish Isle. We've got a few more trades to make. I think if I've been keeping track, like, four? Not sure, but let's trade um this big sail flag and see what this Goron is going to give us. A hero's flag. Ooh, fancy. Well, we definitely want that then. And 75 rupees. My gosh, what a ripoff. Whatever, fine, I'll take it. Thank you, thank you. Now, I know doing, like, this side quest right after doing the Reef side quest might not have been, like, the most exciting thing to do, but these are, like, the two biggest side quests, so I figured if we get them out of the way now, at least all we have left to worry about is, like, smaller, more exciting stuff. And then, of course, the actual main story quest, so... I don't know, that was just my thinking behind it. And, oh, crap! I totally forgot about this. Um, yeah, you can only trade with Gorons three times per day, so I need to play the Song of Passing. It's funny because, um, on the GameCube version of Wind Waker, you really wouldn't have to worry about that because you'd spend so much time sailing that by this point in the quest, a day probably would have passed. However, since 
everything so much quicker on Wind Waker HD. We did all of that and it hasn't been a full day, so that's pretty crazy to think about actually, but yeah, whatever. Quick fix. All right, Mr. Goron, now that it's been a day, uh, what do you think of this Heroes flag, huh? Super cool, isn't it? What you got in there for me? Ooh, a Postman statue. Heck yeah, I totally want that, man. It's super cool and awesome. 100 rupees? Oh my gosh, dude, you are just out of your mind. It's made of wood for crying out loud. It's totally not even worth that. But, whatever. We need it. Okay, so, now that we've got this, um, we need to make our way back to Mother and Child Isle and pretty much train one more time and then come back here. So, I guess I will see you guys at Mother and Child Isle. Alright, so here we are back on Mother and Child Isle. This is like the second to last trade that we need to make. After this, we will get something that if we trade back at Great Fish, uh, we will get one of the two rewards for completing this quest, which is pretty nice. Postman statue, yes, that's what you want. And he's going to trade us the Shop Guru statue. Now, this is what um, the first... Uh, traveling merchant like told us about and told us that he wanted so I think he'll be pretty happy when we bring this to him so that's kind of nice now also all these items again will be at the windfall island shop so if you do want to like continue trading with the merchants afterwards uh, you can totally do that to get the remaining items um, that I won't be covering while doing this version of the trade side quest so let's head back to great fish then Alright, so here we are at Great Fish Isle one last time. Since we're doing the most efficient method, this is our last trade. And like I said, I'm not going to bother covering the other trades because, well, they don't matter. Is, is that, it couldn't be, the Shop Guru statue. Oh yeah, baby. Such a divine figure. Surely, this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world. Oh, most worthy day. Wow, my lifelong dream has at last come true. Such joy. This is my thanks to you for filling my dream. It is a heart-filled reward, beaming with gratitude. Alright, hold out your hands. And with that, he gives us a piece of heart. So that's only one of the rewards. My, but I have received a worthy item. Tonight I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. Uh, that's a little too much information, dude, but I guess you're welcome. Anyways, we complete another very long side quest, so you know what? I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.